Wellington. Wellington lines up as the defending champion in Sunday's chairman sprint surprise for trainer Richard Gibson, jockey Alexia Bedell and uh, owners Michael and Jeffrey Chang. I'm very pleased to say join us on the line uh, as well. So many thanks for your time today, gentlemen. Richard, maybe we'll start with you just as far as uh, Wellington's well-being is uh, concerned at the moment. You're, you're happy heading into Sunday's renewal? Yeah, morning, Andrew. Yeah, it's, it's been a very straightforward prep. You know, we're, we're, we're backing up only after three weeks. And, uh, you know, tr trainers like uh, no interference and uh, no complications. And uh, we've been very lucky. He's in terrific shape. Not, not maybe so much how the, the season started for you, though. It was a few, few little interruptions. Um, just didn't really maybe get the perfect start on the back of last year's success. But that's all well and truly behind you now? Yeah, ab absolutely. You're right. You know, we, we had a very sort of irritating uh, beginning of the season. Um, you know, we were delayed in our preparation. We hadn't interrupted training program going right into the international and um uh frustrating first start but he's um you know he, since december he's um you know he's he's been on the upward curve yeah and alexi that upward curves included the uh, the queen silver jubilee cup over the 1400 meters and last time out in group two company giving weight away to some of his his rivals there and winning so um i'm assuming you're very happy heading into sunday too <laughs> Yes, definitely. Yeah, it was uh, it was very impressive, and you know, uh, the, the the horse feels good. His confidence is uh, it's just perfect at the moment, and and mentally, you can tell that how mature he is now, and uh, that's uh, that's ideal. As far as the barrier draw is concerned, Alexi, you've drawn barrier nine. Um, I know it's early days; you might not have gone through the race um, completely yet. But what are your first thoughts with that sort of game? I think it's a it's, it's a pretty good gate uh, for Wellington. Like um, it uh, it will allow me to decide wherever I want to be. If it's midfield, a little bit worse, uh, based on the jump and based on the tempo in the race. Also, um, on a course, I believe it's pretty straightforward. You can uh, you can choose whatever you you want to do. Uh, it depends on the, on the tempo of the race and looks like it's going to be a, a normal tempo anyway. So um, I'm just happy to, to have a bit of comfort uh, during the race. And um, I'm pretty confident it's a, it's a nice gate for him. Excellent. Um, we've got uh, Michael and Jeffrey Cheng joining us um, as well. Sabrina is with me um, to, uh, to help with the, the Cantonese. I think Michael might be um, happier speaking Cantonese. But Jeffrey, you did the barrier draw. Uh, for international today, were you, were you happier that the computer made the choice for you this time round? Yeah, I just wake up, check on my phone, and I got a nine instead of uh, you know that lingering two three hour uh, long process. So I'm glad. <laughs> um, but since international day, I mean, that, what happened happened in the in the sprint. It wasn't um, you know unfortunately you didn't really get to sort of show his true colours there if you like. But what a fantastic back, back end of the season, the Queen's Silver Jubilee Cup. Um, that was amazing, his second group one and the, the sprint trophy last time out. Um, I guess Richard has said it earlier, um, a little bit at the beginning of the season, things were a bit, uh, he wasn't quite there yet. And you know what, after the international sprint, the horse is okay, despite all, this, uh, all, the, uh, all the horses that uh, had their mishaps. So we're glad we have our horse back, and uh, we're glad the horse is uh, coming back in form. You know, uh, tackling the 1400 Quinn Silver Jubilee Cup, show that he can actually step up to the 1400 and handle it with uh, confidence. And then coming back down to 14 and also doing pretty well. And uh, now uh, in the three weeks, and now I'm sure uh, the horse is happy, is sound, under Richard's uh, care. So we look forward to the race on Sunday. Sabrina? 歡迎兩位買主啦今天都跟我們一起傾偈啦 
，跟住再今次出嚟包個黐色，都係令我哋覺得係非常滿意嘅。跟住再跑嗰個千二，亦都係誒誒跑得非常之好啊！因為我哋又嗰個副榜係孭重五磅噶嘛，所以。呢、这個佢即係只馬嗰個能力係令我哋非常開心喺個電視機面前，雖然冇得入場，但係都一家大細喺屋企睇都好開心。咁啊，嚟緊星期日，終於都有得入場咯喎，係咪都好期待啊？冇錯冇錯。嗯，咁啊，都係你哋兩位會一齊去打氣咯喎。誒、呃，都會一定會出席。嗯，到一月嗰啲家都冇入過馬場啦。系<笑>，咁啊预祝你哋啦，当日啦，即系，梗系希望你哋可以影张靓靓头马相啊。I was asking Michael and Jeffrey because、uh, the previous two winners they had to cheer for the horse at home.、Uh, how did they feel? And of course, they were very happy that Richard Richard was taking care of the horse so great, and they were very excited even in front of the television. And hopefully, coming Sunday, they can all take a group picture together. Yeah, well, it's great news, isn't it, that、um, you guys be back on. On track at the weekend,、um, Richard. Maybe just getting a slightly ahead of myself、um, here, but、um, with the win in the Queen Silver Jubilee Cup, does that open up more options for you as well going forward? I know you want to concentrate on on Sunday first, but looking further ahead next season as well, does it give you the confidence to maybe even step up to a mile? I, I, I think I think that would be unlikely. You know, we've got a very good sprint program here, and、um, it's 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 pretty well paved out, and、um, it, it, you know. He, he performs at, at an elite level already.、Um, uh, I think it's unlikely we'll be stretching him beyond seven at the moment. But as far as、um, Sunday's race is、uh, concerned, though, you're coming back as the, the defending champion uh, now. Um, How has he been in these last、uh, couple of weeks? And what we do, obviously, the, the work is done. But you're, you're happy that he's he's got him, you've got him exactly where you want him for Sunday's race. Yeah, I actually was looking、um, at my uh, weights uh, from from last year. You know, he, he's a stronger horse now. He's 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 more mature.、Uh, he's a stronger animal than than he was last year, and、uh, you know,、uh, mentally he's he's a, you know he's the ultimate professional mentally. So、um, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge on Sunday. I've had a question come through、um, from、uh, the chat room as well.、Uh, Or、um, well, Alexi, maybe that、uh, Richard just talk about him being stronger now.、Um, does he feel that now, as a five-year-old, that he is in peak condition? Has he improved from last year? Richard saying physically and his weight and everything else. Do, do you sense that as a jockey too? Yes, certainly.、Um, but I would describe his、uh, the way he has improved recently is more mentally. I think he's more mature and he. Um, he uses his capacity in the right way, so he's uh, he's um, a lot easier to ride, and he listens to the jockey a lot more, and makes、um, makes life、um, a lot easier, you know,、uh, for a jockey. He he was more quiet going to the races recently,、uh, not nervous behind the gate, you know. He he was、um, absolutely absolutely professional. So that's that was the, the the biggest difference, and he he saved his resources for the for the final sections,、uh, which is the best. All right, we've got another question in Cantonese,、mm. uh, Sabrina, re relating to him going back to the sales, I think. But you might be able to take that one for me. Hmm. 咁啊，我哋有條問題啦，就想問下兩位馬主嘅聊天室嗰度。啊，咁啊，知道咧，福日咧就係二零一八年 Magic Millions Gold Coast Yearling 拍賣會嘅買入噶啦。咁啊，可唔可以講下當時咧，你哋買入佢嘅過程啦？咁啊，而且咧，係咪一開始咧都有啲乜嘢期望咁樣啦？仲有咧，就係福日啦，個英文名係 Wellington 喎，咁啊，即係新西蘭城市嘅威靈頓啊，係咪一啲特別嘅意思咧？誒、呃、搭咗個馬名先啦，其實個馬名係兩歲嗰陣時個年馬師改嘅，咁嗰陣時買翻嚟，嗰陣時都見到誒、欸、Wellington 個名，覺得 OK 喎、哦，唔錯喎、哦，咁大家都覺得不如咁啦，就 keep 翻個英文名啦，咁咁中文名福日都喺屋企人不嬲啲馬都係個福字頭先，咁就咁所以中英文名就冇乜關聯嘅。嗯，咁之前第一個問題 Magic Millions 嗰度之前一歲 year 零嗰陣時就唔係我哋自己購入嘅，咁係兩歲張貓。咁見過誒、呃、見過二馬師啊 Richard 都強力推薦，咁當時一九年我冇記錯，佢六月嗰陣時啦，咁啊 Richard 睇嗰陣話 OK， 咁就我哋百分之百對佢嘅信任，咁應該係兩歲轉三歲之前購入嘅，依日年嗰陣時就我哋冇乜嘢貨物嘅。嗯，咁啊期望方面咧，係咪買翻嚟嘅時候都覺得啊佢會有啲成就嘅噃？
誒、呃，我諗又冇諗得咁長遠嘅，咁即係買翻嚟嗰陣時覺得，誒、欸，如果三班人都投馬，只馬都可能有交代嘅喎，咁係，嗯，逐步逐步而上，覺得只馬開始，我諗係進步咯，唔可以話好期望，即、就、係、是、我要佢期望買翻嚟嗰陣時，可能級制賽有好表現，咁覺得只馬逐步逐步進步，咁個表現都係跟得上個進度，咁都開心嘅，有咁嘅表現。咁多謝練馬師啦，即係練馬師都好 patient 嘅，即係三歲嗰陣時都唔想過分催谷只馬，咁希望佢四歲啊五歲再可以發光發亮咯。咁呢個都係練馬師嘅功勞之一啦。嗯。誒、呃，補充一句，補充一句就係買入嚟嗰陣時，誒、呃、阿、啊、Richard 咧係好極力推薦我買呢只馬嘅。嗯。之佢揾到另外一隻，後尾誒佢覺得 Wellington 係更加好，所以就誒、呃、極推薦俾我去。買呢只馬嘅，咁呢度我哋都係要多謝阿 Richard， 誒、呃、問到啲咁好嘅馬俾我哋，令我哋即係呢兩年誒、呃、真係好開心，見到只馬有咁嘅表現。咁啊，除咗表現方面啦，即係健康啦，都非常之重要啦。係，冇錯，冇錯。So we got a question earlier that was asking about the the purchasing procedure that how they got to buy Wellington and Both Jeffrey and Michael told me that it was totally Richard. He actually strongly recommended this horse to them, and of course took care of it very greatly.、Uh, at first, they did not really expect him to be running in group. They only all owners they would hope to have a very healthy horse, and then at the end, he performed so great, and now he has this achievement. And then talking about the name as well, he came with the name Wellington, and they liked it, so they kept it. Oh, it's been lucky, and、uh, well, and Richard, it was, it, it was quite a.、Um, A quick rise through the ranks as well. Looking back to his、um, his first win, which was、um, was really quite brilliant actually. When you look back at it now, but he moved through the ranks very quickly. Did you know quite early on that he might be something special? Yes, you know he, he showed a lot of ability since since day one. So、um, he, he, he did. He, he went through the grades quickly. But I I do think the、uh, key to his success has been the. Patience of the owners. There were times in his career when he he wasn't a hundred percent, and、uh, we knew we had a good horse, so we、uh, we, we we sat out the bad times. And、um, another key to his success was, you know, his his long break he had last year. And、um, I'm proud of the way the team has maintained、um, the longevity of his career. And、um, I'd be confident of another、uh, strong season next year. Sunday first, though, of, of course, Alexi. You can only ride Wellington,、um, but who who do you see as the the main dangers、uh, in the field? You've you've beaten most of them, I suppose, on his his last two starts. But、um, who do you think your main rivals are? Well, I I always expect a, a surprise in that sort of the races.、Um, I like to think that、uh, side success、um, effort last time was quite good. Um, even if he was carrying a little less weight than、uh, Sunday, but still it was a good effort. I see him as a rising star. I also believe that there is、um, a few Group One winners in the field, and they also、uh, very good and they have a great quality. And、uh, you don't want to underestimate these these runners. So I would I like to think that the the race is open, and、uh, it's only a question of. Uh, keep the momentum, having the horse in a in a lovely position, smooth, and、um, and a little bit of luck for the race to set up in your favor.、Um, well,、uh, after saying that, I think they they all have、um, Skyfield,、uh, Lucky Patch has proven his quality at the highest level.、Um, Stronger is a good one as well.、Uh, you know that all these horses they can they can run a very good race.、Uh, Master Eight、uh, probably has some margin to improve. So I, in in any case, I'm not going to underestimate、uh, these runners. Yeah, the the up and coming ones and Lucky Patch, an interesting horse, going to be first up since December. So we'll see what he can bring to the table. Richard, another question from the chat room. Um, saying, does does Wellington still have further improvement、um, in him? And I suppose the follow-up from that is, does he need to improve again, or is is he the the one to beat on Sunday? But can he be even better again? Yeah, you know,、uh, people are reluctant to assume、um, favoritism. I, I don't think it's overconfidence. I, I, I do think that all the other jockeys in the race will be thinking Wellington is the horse to beat.、Um, 
we're, we're very happy where we're at with this condition. And um, as Alexi said, we just need um, just need good old Hong Kong luck and uh, wear our lucky socks on Sunday. Absolutely. Uh, Alexi was talking about how things will work from barrier number nine. From your own point of view, um, particularly watching his last two runs, he seems to be out happy getting sort of down the middle of the track, a bit of clear air. That's where he really gets to, to show his turn of foot. It was quite uh, interesting uh, speaking to an experienced agent the other day. And um, like his sire, All Too Hard, um, All Too Hard was very much a horse that wouldn't perform going down a rail. And um, Wellington thrives once he comes off the rail, very much like his, his illustrious sire. Interesting. All right, we'll look out for that on the weekend. We're rapidly running out of uh, time here. If there's any more questions to come through for the chat room, they're on at this stage. Now is the time um, to send them. But, um, Jeffrey, I suppose in, in wrapping up, um, you can't wait for Sunday to get back to the races and, and see your horse in the flesh again. No, for sure. I mean, we've been off since, I remember last time I was at the track was early January. So it's been like, what, three months? Mm. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's a group one, there's a group two uh, victory in between, which uh, we missed. But, you know what, we're happy the horse is doing well. Uh, the horse is coming back to form. So we look forward to uh, see how he uh, performs. Gentlemen, thank you very much um, for your time today. Um, looking forward to seeing you at the races and the best of luck on Sunday in defence of the, uh, the Chairman Sprint Prize. Good luck and thank you. 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 Thank you.